has to do with the foot and ankle. And the foot and ankle happens to be one of the most common pain culprits there is, whether it's pain, mobility, or stability. Everything is, is triggered from the ground up. And I'll be going into some detail on day three, but know that when you just go to walk, your heel bone has to do a certain motion at a certain time so that your subtalar joint does a certain motion at a certain time so that the bones above your shin and your thigh bone rotate properly at a certain time, which triggers all other muscles to, to load or turn on or switch on, which causes movement to happen correctly with proper control. So it all starts from the ground up. So it's very important that the foot and ankle are functioning properly. So what I'm gonna teach you is how to load your foot and ankle in three plane function. And it's very important that you understand how to do this. And, and I want you to use modifications as necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three plane function here. And you're gonna use a wall to hold on to. If a wall is not comfortable because of your shoulders and you can't bear a lot of weight, you can use the back of a chair, you can use the kitchen counter, the kitchen sink, whatever is a sturdy, safe place for you to be, okay? But I'm gonna show you against the wall. And the goal is the elbows stay straight and locked because this isn't a push up into the wall or a push up into a chair or the kitchen counter because that's not gonna make a change in the foot and ankle. So what we're gonna do is I will just show you on one and then the, the third recording of day one will be doing this as a workout in repetition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my right foot back and I want to make sure those toes are pointed forward and the foot is not turned out. Okay, so foot is pointed forward nice and straight and my front knee is bent. And what I'm going to do is keep that knee nice and straight and that heel on the floor. If I go too far back with my foot and I feel like my heel comes up, then it's too far back. Come closer to the wall. And my goal here is to load that foot and ankle and calf in a way that allows it to be mobilized. And so I'm going to bring my hips forward and back. We want a nice dynamic motion, keeping that heel down, keeping that knee straight. This is the sagittal plane loading of the foot ankle calf complex. And this is a very good thing to do. Many people have issues because they're lacking what's called dorsiflexion, which is the toes coming up. When you go to walk, you have to have good dorsiflexion. I've had people who've had neck pain because they didn't have good dorsiflexion. And I'll, I'll tell that story on, on day three. However, you wanna make sure those toes can come up well. And so if I've got my foot planted and my knee is going forward, then that is the same thing as the toes coming up, but it's weight bearing. It's much more effective. And we don't need a static hold we want a dynamic moving in and out because when we walk, we don't take a step and then wait 30 seconds and then take another step and then wait 30 seconds. We need the body to be able to load and unload in a dynamic fashion. Okay, so this is sagittal plane. You're going forward with your hips, keeping those elbows nice and straight. Then I'm going to do a side to side motion, but I need to come forward first and feel the muscle load, keeping the knee straight and the heel down. And when I'm in that forward position, now my hips go side to side, sort of like I'm going to tap parallel bars. Now, if you feel any pain going to either direction, don't do that direction. You may notice if your hips go left, you have pain. So don't go left, just go right and straight or vice versa. But if you can do both, keeping the hips forward, your body is gonna want to come back off that you want to make sure you stay forward, and that's the frontal plane or the side to side. Then take a little stress off, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come forward, and we're going to rotate right and left. Okay? And you're going to get that beautiful feeling on that foot and ankle. You're mobilizing the foot ankle calf complex in all three planes. You want to make sure you're staying forward when you do that. All right now we're going to do that on both sides and of course modifications if it hurts rotating right don't rotate right just rotate left believe it or not your body will help to restore any impairments that you have 
And you may notice in a couple of days, you can do both directions if you couldn't when you first started. It's shocking how often that can happen in a good way. Okay.